Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Gear and Beer where we talk about adventure, motorcycle, and camping gear all while enjoying a beer together. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to mount your Denali D4 auxiliary lights to your crash bars for a nice clean look and also so they don't get in the way of your high fender kit if that's something that you have. Stay tuned. All right guys, first off, I just wanna thank Outback Motor Tech for sponsoring this video. They did send me these brackets for free, but I can assure you because of that, it isn't the reason why I'm, I'm doing this video today. I actually do really like these brackets. I've had other options in the past that just didn't work out. I had the lights up here, I've had them down below, and every time I've tried mounting them in another place because I really wanted to keep the high fender kit, they just either got broken or they wouldn't stay put. So uh, thanks again, Outback Motor Tech, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the beer. Today's beer is a Rogue Dead Guy Ale. This is from Rogue Brewery out of uh, Newport, Oregon. This is one of my favorite non-IPA beers. It's really, really good. And um, you know, if you know anything about Rogue Brewery in, in Oregon, there in uh, Newport, uh, you know it's a very popular brewery. Uh, they do a lot of charity stuff for the military and things like that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and just crack this one open. Real quick, if you hadn't had a chance to get one of your Backcountry Adventure Motorsports etched uh, pint glasses, we still have a few of these left. $20 donation gets this glass shipped to you um, and anything left over after the charge cost of the glass and the shipping goes directly into the channel to help make more videos like this. Before I crack this guy open, just wanna show you another picture of the bottle. It's a very unique label. Most labels go all the way around. Um, this one is more of just like a sticker on the bottle and then you have your little bit of your label on the back, same uh, cutout just uh, you know from the back. So again, Dead Guy Ale from Rogue Brewery out of Newport, Oregon, right there on the coast. Crack this open with my handy Craftsman bottle opener. So I catch a lot of shit from you guys all the time about always drinking IPAs. So I'm mixing it up a little bit with this Rogue Dead Guy Ale. Cheers, let's get into this review. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so as I mentioned, these Outback Motor Tech uh, auxiliary light brackets are made for the Denali D4 auxiliary lights. Now they may fit other lights, but they are specifically made for the Denali's. I know Cyclops has a, a, a very similar light that may fit it. Don't, not, don't mark my words on that. And uh, Clearwater also makes a, an, another light very similar to this. So they may fit, but I do know that these were made specifically wrap around the Denali D4 lights. So um, if you have another one of the headlights or another one of the auxiliary lights, it may or may not work. But moving on, when it comes to light brackets, you're probably thinking, well, what, what's really the main thing about these that sets these apart from any other uh, light bracket out there. And what I would say is that these come from one solid piece of aluminum. They are a, a billet uh, aluminum. Um, you can get these in polished like this. They're not made out of a, ca out of a cast. So these are gonna be extremely strong. Um, the fit and finish is excellent. They, the way that they're molded to, to fit these uh, headlights are pretty awesome. I mean, it gives you lots of movability up and down as well as left and right. And depending on if you flip it up, upside down, one way or the other, you get you know more options as well. Um, now you'll see here that there, there, it's flat on this end, and what that does, it keeps you know whenever you whenever the bike does go down, keeps it from getting caught on any like corners or anything like that. And even up here, these are all rounded. Um, I, this bike has gone down several times, I and mean, you can see the headlight here is uh, or the auxiliary light here is all scuffed up, and you know very very minimal. You know, rashing to this uh, to this aluminum. They are very lightweight because they're aluminum, and it does come with stainless steel hardware to clamp them to the 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 bars. Now, I will say, make sure when you put these on here that you use a blue Loctite because you know the bikes vibrate and it is possible. I haven't had it happen, but because I use Loctite, but I can see if you didn't use Loctite that it, um, these could possibly vibrate and then loosen up over time. Now, as I said, kind of in the intro, I've had uh, lights mounted up here um, with some brackets that I had off of Amazon. I've had them mounted down here, and then these got moved around quite a bit. Plus, uh, whenever you were to turn the wheel left and, or the, the tire left and right, the shadow of the tire would get in the way sometimes. So being mounted right here seems to really have the best um, use of the light. Now, 
if you have a high fender kit, you know, unless you mount the lights here, a lot of times you come, you run into being able, run into a problem of having being able to turn full lock to lock and not have them hit. And now with these, having the, the ability to move them up and down, you really have, and I have them as high as I possibly can get them, but you have the ability to get them completely out of the way where nothing hangs on um, your, your auxiliary lights. All right, guys, so just to recap really quick, uh, they are uh, aluminum construction, they are CNC milled, and they are a brushed aluminum, and they are available for 22 millimeter, 25 millimeter, and 27 millimeter tubing. Now, these are designed for the D4 only, but they also make a specific bracket for the D2 as well, if you have those D2, Denali D2 lights. And, um, you know, they're made specifically for the Honda Africa Twin uh, with the way of the angle of the, the crash bars and all that stuff. So, and that'll fit the CRF1000L and the 11. 100L. So make sure if you have either one of those that you pick up some of these for your, um, your lights, your auxiliary lights. All right, guys, that about does it. Now these brackets do retail for about $170. And I will say, when it comes down to it, you absolutely do get what you pay for. Outback Motor Track is, is known for uh, having really strong um, skid plates, crash bars, and now these brackets as I said, these things have been down on the ground multiple times and they haven't even bent or even budged one bit. So I've been very, very happy with them. I wouldn't suggest something to you guys unless I stood behind it. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. Again, if you're interested in one of these glasses and you would like to pick one of these up, click that PayPal link down in the description below and I'll send one out to you, as well as check out our Teespring store for sweatshirts like this and any other swag that we've got uh, coming out here really soon. So again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.